there's been other news stuff. There's been some more negative. I know, Lisa, you mentioned one about San Francisco. Right. They, um, the San Francisco Board of Supervisors at the end of November <clears throat> very unexpectedly approved the use of robots that were armed and <laughs> for police. And um, there was a big outcry, unsurprisingly. And so like within a week, early December, they were like, oh, no, actually, we'll reverse that. But they remanded it back to a committee to keep discussing it. So like it's something that could still come up. Now, it's interesting because, you know, that feels very Pluto and Aquarius, right? It's like killer robots and you know, the fears around technology of what, what could happen when technology sort of uh, gets ahead of humanity, right? Um, and also, how are we societally deciding to use new technologies? Um, yeah. And one of the things that I thought was really funny about that was, um, I don't know if you've seen Mary, Mary Shelley's, what was her name? Mary Shelley uh, wrote Frankenstein. Mm -hmm. Frankenstein <laughs> have you seen her yeah. chart? She um she had Pluto and Aquarius conjunct the midheaven. And oh. it was like, right? It's perfect. And so it's like fan sort of fearful fantasies of non-human things that go out and kill people. Anyway, so um it just reminded me of that. Um yeah. It's like the murderous, yeah. uh the murderous uncanny valley. Right. Exactly. Yeah, it's it's very Terminator franchise. Um, and one of you know, so Pluto does uh, real things as it moves through the signs, but it also like shapes and warps and focuses the imagine, like the collective imagination. Mm -hmm. Um, one of the things you see really clearly is the sight of the hor of horror, um, moving mm -hmm. with Pluto's sign change, like very quickly. Pluto in with Pluto in Scorpio, like <clears throat> early 80s to uh, mid late 90s, um, it's the serial killer, like the sex murderer, the Dahmer, the John Wayne Gacy. It was all about like the, like, uh, how should we say, the intimate, hidden, you know, murderous individual. Then in the, <clears throat> the latter portion of the 90s, up until uh, what, 2008, you have Pluto in Sagittarius, and then it becomes one. You have the you have Columbine early on in that, like first big school shooter, first big school shooting, um, and then you also have 9/11, and so the the sight of the the figure of horror becomes very Sagittarian, right? They're wielding a firearm, a bow. You know, a bow is a non or is a is in a sense a, a like the pre the precursor to the firearm, the murder at a distance thing they're you know they're going all over the place the terrorists are over there they're gonna what are they, we're gonna fight them over there so they don't fight so we don't have to fight them here that was like the bush administration thing um and then when Pluto moved into Capricorn 2008 2009 the you know the site of horror becomes the structure that we live in and which is um Capricorn the laws as well as the past right we like instead of the you know, instead of Pluto and Scorpio, like secret sex murders hiding uh, over there, it's like, oh, no, the, the the structure that we live inside of is the site of horror, um, you know, literal like structural horror. And so we're looking at the movement um, also of that imaginal um, focus of horror with Pluto and Aquarius to the future to imagine, you know, to, you know, the 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 story of, of the terrible future. Right. The mm -hmm. I think dystopia. Is not even a good. It, it, it overlaps with dystopia. It's but, like techno dystopia. Uh, yeah, it's right? very. It's very like, oh my god, are we headed in this direction? Does this mean this? Right, yeah. and that's there are like real dangers, but then there's also like Chris said, uh, like Chris quoted Alan, um, the like taking a tiny thing and making a big fucking deal out of it. Um, we also do that with terror. Like fear does that as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I mean, sometimes those fears are well grounded. I mean, Pluto and Scorpio was the AIDS epidemic and then fears surrounding sex um, as a result of that. And, you know, that was the era I think a lot of us grew up in and, and just being urged growing up right off the bat to practice safe sex or or risk, you know, something that at the time could be a death sentence or Pluto and Sagittarius was like um, fear of religious extremism and terrorism. Or Pluto and Capricorn became the fear of the financial collapse and the uncertainty surrounding our financial situation in the world. And now we move into Pluto and Aquarius and the potential for like a fear of technology. Mm -hmm. um, like, for example, Ukraine the other day just um, apparently 
issued instructions to Russian soldiers for how to surrender to drones, which is kind of an interesting like news story connected with similarly like like the San Fran- San Francisco killer drones or mm-hmm. killer robots story. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What's also interesting, just to kind of continue with what you began with, you know, it's like the real thing that happened with Pluto and Scorpio was the AIDS epidemic. The real thing that happened with Pluto and Sagittarius, it was like, there's two, two things. One, guns got easier to get. And there was a very legitimate bolstering of certain kinds of religious extremism, including here in the United States. And then with Pluto and Capricorn, we did very much see a uh, separate like a like a growing gap between how much money people earned and how much money or how much power that money actually had to buy right. things like even just thinking about the housing market situation right now is just totally and the wealth <laughs> inequality, wealth inequality gap that's a good point mm-hmm. yeah and it's also the uncovering of like what's rotten right what's mm-hmm. underneath and so with pluto and sag it was um uh, the, the priest sex scandals, right? Mm-hmm. That was all like a big story when uh, Pluto went into Sag. Pluto and Capricorn, there's been a fair amount of like the rock comes from the top or like sort of, you know, people who are helping run the country are actually in on a coup type of thing. Um, so, you know, it's always a lot like discovering sort of the, the sorted underbelly of whatever that sign is. 